Hey you going guys, Sammy here again. Today we're going to be looking at cutting up squid to use for small species. So you've gone and got yourself some bait, you've got this nice big squid, but you only want to go out and chase some brim or whiting or flathead or something like that. So what you're going to have to do is cut it up into usable little sections of bait that are better for the smaller fish. So grab yourself a sharp knife and a cutting board. If you're a young fella, make sure you get your parents supervision, give you a hand with a knife part. So first thing you want to do is split this tube open. So run the knife under the squid tube all the way along and cut up like so. And that should allow you to open out the squid tube like so. Now there's a whole heap of guts in there, they should just pull straight out, like so. And you're left with a nice big sheet, if you will, of squid. You've got a rag here, luckily. Now, if I were fishing for brim or something like that, what I'd do is cut it into little triangles, like so. So I've taken my knife, got a little triangle of bait there, I'll grab my my bait holder and I'd go once through, twice through and then one more time. Make sure it's nice and firm up the shank of the hook and I'll present the bait like that. See that bait's going to sit nice and natural in the water. It's relatively straight. You've got good hook point exposure and good hook coverage out the bait. And that's going to catch everything from flathead, to brim, uh, trevally, Anything, just about anything I'll eat that. Even use it out in the reef for sweet lip, snapper, all those sorts of fish as well. But that's how I'd rig. So you can cut that tube into a whole heap of little baits there. And that's going to keep you going for ages. Now, this squid head, it's not wasted at all. So don't throw it away. Now you can either throw it out on a big hook. So where's my spare big hook rig? If you're in an area just want to have a rod sitting out there with a big bait on it, hoping to entice something nice and big. Well, grab a big hook, and what you do is you trim these guts off. Be careful not to uh, pierce the ink sac, which you can see right there. Cut just in front of that. Grab your one big hook, and just go straight through between the eyes. And that's going to sit nice and straight. Those tentacles are going to wave around. It's going to attract something big. They're going to come through and scoff it. Now, if you're not in an area where there's likely to be a big fish kicking around or you want to use this for, for other baits, what you can do is, same thing, cut the head. You'll see there's a few guts and brains in there, pull them out. And then you've got a nice, oh, squirted at me. A nice flat section of bait like that. And you can cut off the tentacles one by one with a nice bit of meat as well. Those tentacles are excellent bait. So, grab our bait holder again. We've got one tentacle with a bit of meat. So you go through the thickest part, through it again, and one more time. Make sure it's sitting nice up the shank and you've got a nicely presented bait there, sitting straight, it's not gonna spin, and something's gonna slurp that down. Now, even if you're chasing whiting, you can use the tentacles just straight as they are. Thread that on a long shank hook, and you've got yourself a prime whiting bait. So very versatile, the old squid. There's a lot of different ways you can rig it, but the idea is to make sure you get the most out of your rigging, the most out of your squid, so none goes to waste. Righto guys, catch you on the next one. Hope you do well out there.